Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the Anublock importer for Carrera. We have a lot of ground to cover, so let's get started. The first thing to do, of course, is install the plugin. You need to install all of your Carrera plugins, including the Anyblock importer, into the Carrera extensions folder. Carrera doesn't care where you put the Anyblocks. You can put them anywhere in your computer you want to, as long as you know where they are and they're easy to navigate to, that's all that really matters. But I recommend that you create a projects folder and copy and paste your any blocks into it. Now let's take a look at how to use them in Carrera. For best results, I recommend you use 30 frames per second. You can set the frame rate as a preference if you want to by going to File, Preferences, General Scene Settings, and setting the frame rate there. Additionally, you may also want to set tweeners to linear. Bezier tweeners don't seem to cooperate as well as linear tweeners, so I'm going to recommend using linear. You can also set the frame rate at the top right of the sequencer. The star of the scene is Freak 4. I've scaled him within Carrera to 125%. It's not a morph scale. There's a good reason for mentioning this, and I'll explain why when we look at the importer option. Importing a nano block is pretty easy. All you got to do is go to File, Import, navigate to where you've stored your any blocks, choose one and open. And here you'll be presented with some options. The first option, Disable Constraints if needed, is selected by default. And that's a good thing. Let's import this first any block with constraints on. The second option, Zero Horizontal Translation, should be checked if you're going to use Motion Paths. The third option allows you to add partial animations like hand and arm movements and expressions. And finally, the last option, Translation Keyscale, is useful if you're using injection morphs like Dwarf or Giant morphs. But in this scene, I've scaled Reek 4 in Carrera, so 100% translation works just fine. M4 was just here for scale, so let's delete him. If we scroll down the sequencer, we can't see the keyframes because Freak 4's hierarchy is collapsed. If we come over to the far left of the sequencer and click on the arrow to the left, they appear. When we imported this Annie block, we left constraints on. Let's see what that looks like. Well, that ain't right. Check out the left leg. Well, now you know why constraints need to be adjusted. One thing I wanted to mention is that any block import is a one-way trip. There's no undo for it. So if you import an any block that you don't want in your scene, you have to clear those keyframes. And either you can do it manually or you can use the NLA feature to clear those keyframes for you. Let's get rid of that clip altogether by selecting it and hitting the delete key. Now let's import an any block with constraints turned off this time. Be sure to select the root of the figure, except when using the partial feature. Let's give Freak 4 an angry walk. Let's import an angry walk start first, and turn constraints off so we can see the difference. There we go, that's much better. It's important to note that the Anyblock importer does not turn off all of the constraints, just the ones that are necessary. So inverse kinematics still works. Just keep in mind that because some of the constraints are turned off, it's possible to exceed joint limitations. Oof, now that we've got some of this technical stuff out of the way, let's get going on the animation. What we want to do at this stage is convert the Anyblock into an NLA clip. To do that, you need to select the parent figure, in this case Freak 4. Click on the NLA tab at the top and convert to Master Clip. To keep it organized, let's name this NLA clip Angry Walk Start. We're just going to accept the defaults and click OK. You can find your new clips under the Clips tab. And there it is. Let's go grab another block. This time we'll snag Angry Walk Loop. Convert it to a master clip and give it a name. To save your clips, just go to your browser, open the Clips tab, and drag and drop. Now it's time to add our clips to the timeline. To do that, all you have to do is drag your NLA clips onto the track. 
Now all we need is a couple of more walk loops to make a complete walk cycle. And it's really simple. All you got to do is copy and paste a couple times. Now let's adjust the camera and see what we have so far. Right now what we're seeing is Freak 4 starting at the beginning point for each track, which isn't what we want, so let's fix it. To do that, select a clip, go to the right, scroll down to where you see Match Previous Position, and in there, there are two things you need to do. Set a reference object, in this case we're going to use Hip, and set the match time, in this case we're going to use Previous Clip End Time. With that done, let's adjust the camera so we can see what's going on. An easy way to do that is fast forward to the end of the timeline. Select the figure, press 0 on the keyboard, and tune up the camera position from there. The transition between clips isn't very smooth right now. We're going to fix that. So let's slow it down by pressing the Play Every Frame button located at the top right of the Carrera Sequencer. Now we can tell what's really going on. Carrera didn't accurately calculate the translation offsets from clip to clip, which isn't really that big of a deal. It just means we have to make some adjustments manually. While I'm making the adjustments, I'll tell you that for every subsequent identical clip, the offsets will be identical. And that, my friends, is the tip of the day. Sometimes when you're working with Query, you just got to get in there and get your hands dirty. All right, there we go. Let's take a look at that, see how we did. And there we go. Looking pretty good. Now that the angry walk cycle's done, we want them to actually look angry. So let's add an expression. To do that, we'll need to add a couple more tracks. Just right click track in the sequencer and then select add in LA track. We're going to use the partial option for this. So we'll select head, then go back up to file import and find an expression that we like. Let's see here. I think brow squeeze would probably work. Make sure we select partial and click OK. Then select the root again so we can gain access to the NLA feature, create another master clip, and give it a name. Okay, now let's import our final any block. Oops, I better select the head first. And let's see. Sneer. Yeah, that's it. Let's go with sneer. Okay, the last time for this scene, convert it to an NLA and name it. Now let's drag the new clips into the sequencer.
render and we're done. Thanks for taking the time to view this tutorial. I hope it helps. I'm Johnny Bravo in the Guerrero Forum. Hope to see you online. Until next time, enjoy the AnyBlock Importer for Carrera.